The A320 family has a ground proximity warning system, GPWS. Its purpose is to enhance safety by alerting the crew to potentially hazardous situations involving terrain collision or incorrect landing configuration. The GPWS monitors the aircraft flight path and generates visual and audio warnings alerts when the aircraft is in one of the defined hazardous situations. These warnings will be overridden by stall or wind shear warnings. The ground proximity warning system processes the data from RA1, ADS1, ILS1, FMGC1, LGCIU1. Failures of these units will be studied in the abnormal operation modules. Most GPWS alerts and warnings are generated as a result of changes in radar altimeter heights or the rates of those changes. The system predicts potential hazards from these trends but has no forward-looking capability. Therefore, impact with a near vertical cliff face cannot be predicted. GPWS does not absolve the crew from monitoring aircraft position and safety altitude. The ground proximity warning system control panel is located on the left side of the overhead panel. GPWS visual warnings are provided on the miscellaneous panels. The system can be tested by pressing either pull up GPWS push button switch. This test is normally performed by the maintenance crew. In addition, two loudspeakers located on each lower side of the main panel broadcast GPWS oral warnings even if they are turned off. Ground proximity warning system enhances safety by alerting, warning the crew of potentially hazardous situations during flight at low heights. Crews should react to any ground proximity warning system warning immediately without attempting to assess its validity. Ground proximity warning system operation is fully automatic in the normal lights out configuration. We will now study the oral and visual alerts and warnings. If a high rate of descent is detected at low level, the GPWS will generate an oral repeated alert. If this rate is or becomes excessive, the repetitive oral warning will be generated. In both cases, the red pull-up lights will illuminate. If rising ground is detected as a potential threat to the safety of the aircraft, the GPWS will alert the crew with a repeated terrain, terrain. oral alert. The system will generate a All up. warning after the terrain alert has been repeated twice. The red pull-up lights will illuminate in either case. If there, GPWS detects a rate of descent during the initial don't climb think. after takeoff or following a go around, it will give a repeated don't sink alert with the pull up red light. At very low levels, the oral warning Too low here. will be generated if the landing gear is still retracted. If the landing gear is down, but the flaps are not in landing configuration, the warning is Too low flap. Note that the Too low here. warning has priority over the Too low flap. Below approximately 1,000 feet on an approach, a GPWS glide slope oral and visual alert will be generated if the runway is ILS equipped, the ILS is tuned, 
the ILS signal is valid, the aircraft is significantly below the glide slope. Both amber GPWS lights will illuminate. The oral message will become louder to indicate a warning if no corrective action is taken as the aircraft gets closer to the ground or if it descends further below the glide slope. Note that some airports around the world have approaches and departures which are not compatible with standard GPWS operation. These airports are programmed into the GPWS database and the warning thresholds are modified to avoid nuisance warnings. The GPWS panel allows the crew to inhibit some warnings. Flap 3 is a recognized landing configuration. If the option is used or if required by an ECAM procedure, the crew should select landing flap 3 push button switch on to ensure that the ground proximity warning system does not generate warnings when it detects that the aircraft is not in the full flap configuration. The associated green ground proximity warning system flap 3 memo message is displayed on the engine warning display. Following some failures, a landing may have to be made with a reduced flap setting. The crew can select the flap mode push button switch off to inhibit GPWS flap warnings. If the flap mode is off, the green GPWS flap mode off message is displayed on the engine warning display. When selected off, the glide slope mode push button switch will inhibit the ground proximity warning system glide slope warning. The white off light illuminates when the ground proximity warning system is selected off. All warnings are inhibited. If your aircraft is equipped with the enhanced ground proximity warning system, EGPWS, a forward-looking capability for terrain is added. The basic functions we have just studied remain unchanged. Enhanced ground proximity warning system is based on terrain database and FMGC current position, not on radar returns. The purpose of the enhanced ground proximity warning system is to avoid a controlled flight into terrain and to give enough time to the crew to perform an avoidance maneuver. The terrain information is displayed on the MD except in plan mode. The display of the EGPWS terrain computed data is different from the ground picture sensed by the radar. The image texture is different. There's a tear indication instead of the radar tilt. The terrain elevation surrounding the aircraft is color coded. Two tear on ND push button switches are fitted on each side of the main panel. To display the terrain picture on his ND, a pilot will have to switch on his respective tear on ND push button switch. Note that the weather radar information is replaced even if it is switched on. In the lights out position, the enhanced ground proximity warning system operation is fully automatic. The tear push button switch in the off position allows the crew to inhibit the enhanced functions but keeps the basic ground proximity warning system functions operative. In case of failure of the enhanced functions, the fault light comes on but the basic ground proximity warning system functions remain operative. As for the basic ground proximity warning system, 
The system push button switch controls the basic functions. The enhanced ground proximity warning system uses a terrain database coupled with an FMGS position to calculate two terrain envelopes ahead of the aircraft. When a conflict is detected between these terrain envelopes and the terrain memorized in the database, an alert is triggered. One terrain envelope corresponds to a caution level while the second one corresponds to a warning level. If the caution terrain envelope is penetrated, the areas which violate the caution envelope limits turn to a solid yellow color. An amber, terrace ahead, message appears and a repeated, terrain ahead, oral alert is generated. If the terrain warning envelope is penetrated, the areas which violate the terrain warning ahead. envelope turn Pull to a solid up. red color. A red, terrace ahead, message appears and a repeated, terrain ahead, pull up, oral alert is generated. In both cases, the red pull-up lights will illuminate. As for the basic GPWS warnings, crews should react immediately, without attempting to assess its validity. In case of caution or warning, if terrain on ND is not selected on, the terrain display is set automatically to on and the on light on the terrain on ND push button switch comes on. The second EGPWS protective function provides a terrain clearance floor envelope for each runway stored in the database. This function warns of a premature descent below this floor regardless of aircraft configuration. Caution. The relative height is calculated using the Captain Barrow setting. Thus, the system does not protect against Barrow setting errors. The position is calculated using FM1. The system does not protect against FM1 position errors. When the aircraft position accuracy provided by the FMGS is low, the enhanced functions of the enhanced ground proximity warning system are automatically deselected. Tear standby appears in green on the ECAM memo and the terrain display is deselected until a high level of navigation accuracy is restored. The basic ground proximity warning system functions remain operative.